can do uh, this podcast is brought to you empowered by Sunday Cool. Wait, so say it one more time. The same thing we do. It. This is your fourth time. It's like fourth or fifth. <laughs> I get pod- nervous every time. This podcast is brought to you empowered by Sunday. Cool. This podcast is brought to you and empowered by Sunday Cool. Again, you said empowered. What did you say? Powered. Just powered. Oh. But I do like empowered. We'll stick with that. Right, Andy? Right, it- Kels? I assume Lily's not on the pod. No, it's just boys being boys. This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool, Kelsey. Watch oh, this. Watch, watch this. It. Or listen. Or listen. Or listen, too. Okay. Hey guys, so spring is upon us, and when spring is here, flowers are here, and with flowers comes allergies, and with allergies, you guys should order through Sunday Cool. All your custom apparel needs are here. Custom t-shirts, hats, stickers, tote bags, whatever your little heart desires. And hey, maybe start your process now for your summer stuff, like VBS, summer camps, all that jazz. Also, Easter is coming up, so you guys should uh, do the RL New Fancy Water Reveal Ink, where when you're submerged in water and you come out, there's a brand new design. It's really cool. So sundaycool.com. Start your order today. Okay, I love you. That's it. Think stop. Stop. Eagles, tigers, bees. Eagles, tigers, bee? Bees. Bees. You want to do the bees? No, what do you, what's the, what's the question? No, like I have a, like you said, bring something to oh, the okay. table. Oh, so okay. Um, there's what the. We have to decide this later. We'll have to decide when it's time. Because we haven't, we it's not his time yet, right? Or are we going to pick now? Under pressure? Well, like so this? He, he probably could, needs to mentally prepare. Oh, yeah. Eagle, uh, tiger, or bees. Well, it's, it's not like a prepare thing. Like, yeah. The, the, we're just going to like talk about one topic about the eagle, but then the other two, I'm just going to read like a, like a couple sentences. You're giving them a lot of information. What's going to happen. Maybe that's keep like, them around. Yeah. Thanks. Guys, Corey. eagles, tigers, bees. And so are you saying eagle one singular like, like and then tiger singular and then bees eagle one, plural? eagle one <laughs> as a, as a species group. I can't even see Corey's face. Can you not? No, it's right. Oh, no, in the I was. I was. You don't mind? Do you mind moving it? No, no, no. Okay. Cool. Adjust. Be, adjust. It's just how can you not look at it? I know. You know? It's, I mean, it's it's hard to connect. It's hard to really put my all into it if I don't I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, you don't. You get what I'm saying? I do. Okay. I right. really do. I want. I love I, that. I love yeah. that for us. Yo, maybe it, maybe give him a slight angle. Andy did. Andy did give the. Give the noggin a fresh shave this morning and prep for this. So I do it every day. I don't know what you're talking about. Every this is like day? news to you, but like it, you have to, man. So there's no such thing as just like a quick shower. As a quick shower? Yeah. Like no. You, quick like, shower. Quick shower. No, I do quick showers at night. I do a shower in the morning where I, yeah, everything. And you you put the shaving cream in. <laughs> Shaved. Do you, okay, don't say You it. do two don't showers a day? Yeah, one at night and then uh, one in the morning. I've said this multiple times, yeah, I'm pretty you, sure. You how do, long, how long? How long before it's gross, like, to not shower? Because I'm, I'm I mean, on quite the streak right now. I usually go. Really? It, it drives d- me it crazy. It depends on what I do. You look, like, you if, I, great. if I'm just at the office, then I'll go, like, three days. What? Yeah, that's wild to me. I couldn't do it. I'm on day five. You're lying that you go three <laughs> days. I do not go. Th- I mean, I do. That's crazy. I'm, I'm a two a day. Yeah. Do you pay your water bill? Makes sense. Well. Well, baby. There you go. I'm on well, too. But I'm afraid. Well, I'm afraid that like we're gonna what? like run up one day, run out. Yeah, probably it's possible. I think it's just gonna be uh, just changed out with a different liquid. It's like you're just gonna get Pepto Bismol or something like that. Like just one day, like. <laughs> Yo, I was watching TikTok the other day, mm-hmm. and uh, this girl was like, "Why do you think guys are so feminine nowadays?" He said, "Because s- girls are taking birth control." Then they're going to the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom then goes, gets cleaned, and then goes into the tap water. And you're like, guys are drinking birth control. 
I love that conspiracy. That's really great. That's <laughs> honestly, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, to to your point though, I've seen the study where there's like a ton of op- like remnant opioid and stuff like in our water supply because they don't filter out everything. That's wild. Isn't yeah. It? Uh-huh. Hey, you know what? We live and we learn. I mean, Andy's obviously not getting any of that. Look at that beard. <laughs> no female could grow that ever. <laughs> well, well, nothing's impossible. Give it time. <laughs> um, Danny just sent me a picture. Mm-hmm. He had a fortune cookie. <laughs> he opened it and it says, "You are not illiterate." <laughs> <laughs> See what? <laughs> you are not illiterate. Wow, it's a good reminder. Yeah. It's so actually, it's actually <clears throat> clever. Yeah. If you're reading it. You need a little positivity. Yeah, but they're not supposed to be clever. That's the thing. Do you imagine? Where's the fortune? What if that was like, the like? maybe I just need one more. Your God, fortune give me a sign. is that you can read. Into the minds or into the future? Just or? a book. <laughs> you're like about that's to. A, that's not as. I already knew that. That's all I'm getting. <laughs> that is your fortune. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Imagine if you couldn't read and you're like, hey, can someone help me with this? Mm. Man, can you, you imagine not, you're man. about to give up on life and you're like, I just need a, a really <laughs> good fortune. one more message. You're not said, illiterate. <laughs> uh, you, you are read. not that dumb. Thank you. Hey, one and, more day, and then you give up. <laughs> um, I really needed something. This on is that. this is off to a great start. <laughs> Our dearest Lily has the influenza. Rest in peace. I mean, now she's alive. She's resting. She's resting in it's, peace. It's kind peacefully. Of. She's yeah. sick. Yes. She has the influenza. The flu. She's come down with the influenza. <laughs> I give her 48 <laughs> hours. Do you hear? Ma got the influenza. Take this dosage of mercury. <laughs> you should be fine. Pray for the worst. What? Pray for the worst? Rub horse manure on the bottom of your feet three times a day. Eat a, ho- a raw onion every morning in one bite. And burn a witch. <laughs> of course, burn a witch. And I should, that goes without saying. And you should be cured of influenza. <laughs> All right. Okay, fine. I get it. But we got Corey. Yeah, we do. Corey are... Some lo- people love Corey. People, people love Corey. People on Patreon say, listen, I only got on Patreon so I could see more of Corey. And there is more of Corey on um, Patreon. Someone so. did comment. They're like, Corey, I candy... They didn't. Yeah, they did. Quit quit lying to me. (laughs) Dead serious. That's what they said. He's like, prove it. Let me see more. Uh, Hey, Corey, do you want a song? Yes. It's been a while. (laughs) Yeah, I do want a song. The last song you guys sang when I was on was... uh, The White Stripes? No. Yeah. It wasn't our best performance. Let's say that. I wasn't. I remember. It, it, it was that hurt, Irish thing. It hurt my ears for sure. It, it oh, was, yeah. It was hard. I think you're going to like this one. I think okay. this is going to tug at your heartstrings a bit. This is a mm. tribute. It's a tribute song. Yes. What does yep. that mean? A tribute. You'll tribute. get it. You'll understand. Like a cover? <laughs> yeah. Possibly, yeah. All right. Let for, it rip. For let a rip. great, 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 great man. Yes. I'm so ready. And um, if this gets flagged, go watch it on Spotify because... Mm, this means know. something. Absolutely does. Mm. It's, we're putting our whole American hearts into this. That's a that's a good first first chord there. Yeah. Do you like that? <laughs> All right, let's give this a shot. Why am I nervous? I'm nervous too. There's a lot of pressure with this one. Don't be nervous. No, this is good. Yes. Yeah. yeah! Okay. 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 All right. I feel good now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. This song, this amazing song that we wrote 20 minutes before this episode was in fact flagged, which is a darn shame because it is a great one. But lucky for you, it's still on Spotify and Patreon, completely ad-free on Patreon and Spotify technically for now. <laughs> uh, so go watch it on Spotify or Patreon after you watch the this whole episode. And buckle up, it, this episode is both fun, exhilarating, and some somewhat depressing in areas. But it'll be great. It'll be good. Real good. So Spotify, Patreon, to listen to the song. You will not regret it. Okay, I love you. Girl. That was 
was good. Hey, thank you, Toby Keith. Oh my gosh, man, rest in peace, that guy. That was my favorite one. That was really dude, good. That I was legit dude, my that favorite was good. one. That was a lot of fun. It's man. just a good song, dude. Oh, dude, you that song. Every time I listen to it, his song, not ours. Yeah, dude, I'm just like, yes, dude. It's Let's literally, go! Go- it's literally goosebumps every time. I can't explain it, dude. It gets you going, Toby man. Keith. What an amazing man he was. Yeah, dude. We literally, me and my uh, wife Kelsey, we were on the, we were uh, on the front porch last night, literally just at ten o'clock at night, and she was like. Let's just let's just listen to some of our favorites, and we literally just scrolled past, and there were so many from the '90s, early 2000s that were just like hits as a kid. Yeah, Lily said, Lily said it best. Lily said on the day of, right, the, the morning day of, of when she found out Toby Keith died, she says it feels like America died. Mm. Mm. I'm like, dang, yes, Toby Keith fan, huge. Yeah, who's not? If you're I not, know. then I you're know, not American. Hey, the Dixie Chicks, maybe. Bro, that I, drama. I, that seemed like so traumatic as a kid. I was just like, why, but why did I care? <laughs> why <laughs> yeah, why no. was a kid hearing about this? I don't right? even know what you're talking about. Yeah, there was some. It was just a political thing that was be, be the with Dixie Toby Chicks Keith and the Dixie like, Chicks. Well, yeah, the Dixie Chicks were like all against like the war. Except, but looking back, I mean, they're not wrong. Of, yeah. Like, hey, maybe we but should Toby go Keith, to war. Toby Keith was the one that buried the hatchet. He, you know, he, and he had a, a band member that lost a child and he kind of like realized that like, this is not worth anything so he kind of backed off and apologized whatever and moved on but it's like man what a legend what a good guy absolutely literally performing up to this like his last days yep too. yeah he had Killing like it. a huge concert in january yeah or december yeah he was yeah i mean he was he went out on top man way too young though 62 that was crazy it's his chord that's doing the buzzing it's like his, um, his blue, whatever he blue, talks blue, blue, he's like blue, it's because he, he's talking he's quiet and his mic is boosted Oh, do I need? You got. Sh- is this better? Yeah, that works. I don't know if I can keep that up. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of in tongues, keeping things up. I have a question. Oh my goodness, we haven't even done the question. <laughs> we have not. I thought you were about to go into a topic, and I was like, before you say that, can I say something? But no, you're good. You can't not say this thing because I have to say something. Because this is a question we gave. You're doing it right now. Got it. Okay. We gave the time needed to what we had to say, mm-hmm. the amount of time that was needed. Yep. But okay. today's question, sent in by a viewer. <sighs> Does Vladimir Putin just need a hug? I... I think you know I have a lot of personal feelings about this. I know. Topic. Yeah, and again, should, this is they're just asking. Yeah. I mean, so so I can take some time. Do you think we should let our guest yeah. answer? Corey, go ahead. What do you think Vladimir Putin just needs a hug? He might. He like when you look at him, it looks like he his parents didn't tell them they loved him. Wow. And he just like he kinda has like that sad that yeah, sadness to him sad like, when you look at his yeah. Very, yeah, percept- dude, very perceptive because yeah. I feel that too. Hey, I believe that. A little pat on the back. No, yeah, I mean, I mean, I agree. I think everyone needs a hug. My thing is, it's what are we? What do we have to lose by doing it? If it okay, so if we if we do it and nothing happens and he's still the same guy, at least he got another hug. Yeah, good thing. A good thing happened. And the best case scenario, he says, you know what, truce. Yeah, here's my money. Hey, take my land. I you you gave me a hug. I'm a different person now. Yeah, so maybe we should just. We, that's, war, that's, that war sounds is like the dumb now. Yeah. Now that I felt affection and love. Wait, so war wouldn't exist if just people just hugged more? I think that's exactly the conclusion that we're arriving at. So we should travel to Russia and hug Vladimir Putin? I, I guess. I think we, we should to. travel to Russia and hug Vladimir Putin. Vladdy, to I end know, all wars. We know you're watching. Please invite us. We'd love to we, hug we'd you. We'd love to give you a hug, Vladdy. Right, Corey? Me too. I'll yes. Give him a hug. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, guys. Group hug. Hugs with Vladdy will end the war. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the show. show. <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful butterflies. Has an empty mind. You learn martial arts. Fuck ninjas! 
Hey, that's full circle, baby. Hey, look hey. at that. Oh. Hey, can I tell you something? Yeah. We have one million subscribers on YouTube. It's not set up. Oh. Oh. Do the guitar one. Do the guitar one. Yeah. One million subscribers. Yeah. 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 We one did it. Million. You did it. You made one. it happen. You made it happen. He made it happen. We made all made, made it happen. There we go. Perfect. One million subscribers. Corey's like, what just <laughs> happened? Is happening right now. <laughs> this oh, is nice. All right. This is nice. Every time I'm just working, it's yeah. normal, and I come in here, I, I so much energy and positivity. We try, of, man. A lot of love. It yeah. kind of it just gives me gets me uh, gets me going. It takes me a minute to get to get acclimated. No, yeah, it's it's yeah. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things. You just gotta. It's if you're not doing it every week, it's like cardio, right? Yeah. yeah. Just that's what we do. Yeah, we'll do a one million celebration episode when we get Lilith. Yeah, we can't do it without her. Yeah. Whenever Lily decides to not be sick. Yeah. I mean it's like it's, it up. I mean it's I mean, come on. We have work to do. I know not, people always talk about like the man flu, how they always go around the house like, Oh, I'm so sick. It's like, no, it's the opposite. Yeah. yeah. Did she use her powers to not be here? Her this powers. Is, no, her hours. Oh, hours. Like, did she clock out? Yes, she did. Okay, okay. Um, well, we can't say anything legally then. Yeah, but I am discovering this week that it is very hard to be a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that. Dude, because she was, like, really sick. And, like, so I was, like, I've been, like, really taking care of the kids and, like, getting them ready for yeah. Ada for school and, like, all this stuff. And I'm, I, this is the most tired I've ever been. Yeah. And so shout you always, out, th- you shout always out think all the moms out there because yeah. it's hard. It's a really hard job. Every time I'm like Kelsey's gone or something, I have to take care of the girls like just like overnight and stuff. And throughout the days, like it'll just be like, oh, I'm going to get so much stuff done. Like I'm just going to be able to get so much stuff done when I'm home. I'm like, there's nothing getting no. done. It's worse shape. I'm literally scrambling on the last day before she comes home just so I like pick up and like, oh, it wasn't bad that bad. It Go moms. Go, Go moms. Yay moms. You did it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, I had a fantastic one. Yeah. Couldn't have been better. Yeah. I mean, but you are also a husband of three kids. Married fa- 15 a fa- years. A father of three kids. <laughs> Not a husband of three kids. Married a husband and years. a father of three kids. Yeah. 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 15 years married. I admire you uh, tremendously in the way you lead your family. Yeah. What are their names again? I forget your kids' names. Yeah. Um, Toby. What? Toby. That's, is that your oldest? Yeah. Girl. Boy. Boy. Okay. She she's six. Uh <laughs> Colton. Nice. Four. Boy. And then little girl two years old in April. Well, April seventeenth. Charlotte. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Like the web. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. What's your wife's name again? Because I, I I've I've met her once, but I can't remember. Gretchen. Gretchen. <laughs> Gretchen. <laughs> That's good. Wow. Are you guys making fun of my wife's name? Got that. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Making fun of my wife's no, name? No, 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 that's no, not no, what no, I'm doing no. at all. Corey, please. I was, it was just, Bre- how could I forget a name like that? It was like, of course. It was silly yeah. that we forgot. Yeah, it. yeah, that's yeah why absolutely. We, that, we feel bad. Yeah. I apologize. Um, Unbelievable. What's but, she like? Um, <laughs> she's know, very, Gretchen. she's very type A. Um, if I raise my voice, she will hit me. Oh, wow. Um, but with love. Oh, yeah. okay. As okay. like a disciplinary because she wants me to be the best person I yeah, can like, be. Yeah, don't spare the rod. But, um. Wow. I respect that. It's nice. Now, how did you propose? <laughs> I can't I remember you told me, like, it was a crazy story and, like, you had some, like, you, you traveled somewhere to a con- country or a different yeah. country. Mm-hmm. How did you, how did you we propose? We went hiking. Discussion? We went hiking in Argentina. Wow. Hey. She slipped, fell down a small rock face. Uh huh. You know, all the pebbles and stuff. Slipped, was really hurt broken leg whoa and in that moment i was like oh my gosh she's perfect <laughs> had to do it and then did you push and her then, was that the plan was that in the just like a, stuck a toe out then met a vector straight out oh wow that oh, is yeah. romantic that is i mean that is yeah I, she's the one no <laughs> yeah that's, found, that's my girl, <laughs> that's my girl. That's no my found girl. true love right in the right in the face of death that's romantic really cool. yeah that is really romantic. 
I'm afraid to talk about all the stuff I have written down today. Yeah, you've been like pre-warning me for the past two days about like how dark these subject matters are. Yeah. So I um so I have some downloaded some uh, palette cleanser right. photos, some media that we can consume between the stories if we need it. Okay. If they are that dark, how will we okay. know? Like, is there like a signal? Should I like? Yeah. After after Josh discusses, we can kind of you know we can figure it out. But, yeah. You know, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I'm like, I, this is like, <laughs> what is what is the what is the theme of all of them? End of the world. Okay. Mm. Yeah, let us pick. Can we pick? Can we vote? Kind of like how you're voting with animals. Can you? I, like, I brought that. I brought the happy. I brought the happy. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Corey's got some happy stuff. So I got end of the world okay. stuff. I That's have fair. some things regarding lasers and okay. the powers that be okay. using them. And then I also have stuff involving the sun. Mm. And then I have I'm, something kind of nice. And then I have something about Mr. Bean. Okay. Mr. Bean needs to be for last, I feel Who like. Who is Mr. I love Bean? Mr. Bean. Rowan Whoa. Atkinson? Is that not, is it Rowan Atkinson? Is that his name? Something like that. Yeah. The Bean? Yeah. Mr. Bean. Like the, the peanut, silent, the the silent guy? No, 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 no. Let's oh, start for, let's, oh, let's start yeah. for this. Uh, Mr. Beans. Yeah. It's Beans. No, no, Mr. Bean. He's in the movie. The British. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was Beans. It's Bean, right? <laughs> it's Bean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's me. That's me. That's me. My bad. You're talking about the, we have the one when he does with his brothers, Mr. Beans. Mm. My brother works at a laser <laughs> lab, so maybe don't expose him. I want to expose him. A lab. I like lasers. A uh, laser lab? All right. Well, I like lasers. Let's start it off. Um, you guys hear about those fires in Chile? I saw pictures. No. Yeah. Okay. What's happened with that? Did they win the contest? This past week, <laughs> a lot of people died, Corey. Corey. A lot of people let's, died. Let's, let's take a walk, dude. <laughs> the fires in Chile. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Okay. So it happened in a city, uh, Vina del Mar. Right, and the way it happened was eerily similar to what happened in Maui. Mm -hmm. And the mm -hmm. weird connection is that Vina del Mar. So you know how Maui? They're talking about Maui becoming the first city in Hawaii that to be a smart city. Okay, yeah. So like independent of Lahaina. Lahaina. Yeah. Sorry, Lahaina. Um, and uh. Vina del Mar was the headquarters of smart city business for Chile. No way. Yes. But these fires, same scenario. All of a sudden, it was like a little fire started, high winds, and like there was no warning. A lot of people died. And I saw a video today of this dude who was like going through the wreckage of uh, like a little outskirt of uh, Vina del Mar. And there was a blue house completely unburnt. No way. And I don't know if you've heard about this whole thing with <laughs> the conspiracy of the DEW, mm -mm. which is the direct energy weapon. Mm. But lasers cannot burn the color blue. So in Hawaii, in Lahaina, there was um, basically like everything was just like burnt to a crisp. Like cars were like melted. But yet there was like just blue umbrellas, just completely un unburnt. Unfazed. Anything blue was not burnt. There's like all these cars that were melted and then there's a blue car not melted. I have family who like was walking through the area and they literally said their warehouse is green and blue. All the green ones are scorched. All the blue ones are still standing and fine. But it's like there's one, not one. There's one. Literally makes no sense. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do they say what is about the blue? It's just something with the laser can't penetrate the the pigment of blue. And it's like and there's a video. Incredible. I'll show you a video after this. Yeah, like that's they're, incredible. They're doing like a laser that's like burning different cloths that are different colored, like in science labs and everything. Yeah, yeah. and it, like when it hits the blue one, nothing. And it's it's oh, wild. Right. I don't know why, but then there's all those like buildings in China and stuff that are starting to paint their rooftops blue. Yeah, weird stuff. Yeah, I painted my roof blue shingles. We should, up there. we should paint all our roofs blue, <laughs> yeah. honestly, at this point. I am but, about to get a new roof. I might have to go blue. Do it. But a weird connection. Don't fact check me. Well, maybe fact check me. <laughs> fact check me. I heard someone talking about this. There was a coincidence with the um, fires in Maui, in Lahaina, where it just so happened that day there was a satellite right above Maui. Mm -hmm. Guess who owned that satellite? 
Elon Musk. Bill Gates. CERN. CERN. No way. Really? Yes. Wow. Bring it back to our genesis, NAB's genesis right there. And a couple years ago, CERN discovered what they called the fifth force of nature called cosmic energy. And so they've been doing a lot of research and studies in experiments with cosmic energy because cosmic energy is some of the most like um how would you say like um complex complex but it's like the most um highly efficient and not efficient it's like it's just really good like it's uh, a what's the word (laughs) what's the word sound it out um powerful powerful energy okay that was the word i know i know i was like (laughs) (laughs) it's a simple word and i forgot it uh powerful energy yeah so, like, figuring out how to harness it. So, that's what this satellite is doing is, like, figuring out how to harness cosmic energy that comes in from the cosmos. Yeah. And when it hits the Earth's atmosphere, it spreads out, right? hmm So, like, they're trying to figure out how to take it, harness it. Contain it, yeah. And use it for different For things. good things, probably. Like lasers. <laughs> <laughs> like lasers that set places on um, fire. And so, I went off on this whole little rabbit trail yesterday i'm like can you take cosmic energy and weaponize it Mm -hmm. and there's this whole blog thing about cosmic energy and the science behind it and like using it for technology for um computers all this stuff (laughs) excuse me but then it got to the section to where it said weaponization it said if the technology falls into the wrong hands there's there's a risk of its use for destructive purposes Cosmic energy's immense power could be harnessed to create devastating weapons capable of causing widespread harm and destruction. Jeez. And so it's like, what? Yeah. And so, like, how do we know the technology? I mean, there's no way of knowing whether they've accessed that technology or not, right? I did about 30 minutes of reading. So, yeah. But, like, but like they, would, they wouldn't let us know that, probably. Right? They, they probably would, but not in, like, the full... Yeah, I mean every scope of every source of energy has the potential to be weaponized. Like gasoline causes fires, you know, electricity can kill you. Yeah, and so I just I want to know what makes that type of energy like more dangerous than others. Well, that's the thing that they like just discovered this energy because it's this immense, immensely powerful energy that is like in theory could power the entire earth like yeah. no no more like coal all that stuff it could literally become like the new nuclear energy you yeah. know but it's like from space yeah Bill- billionaires are sweating right now i mean but like i mean Tes- tesla's money. onto it tesla figured yeah. out how to like contain or like collect energy from the atmosphere that came in from space to create electricity yeah and so they're that's like kind of like what they're doing now but then the batteries though Mm. <laughs> so it's just like at what cost um but then i came across this uh book article thing from the australian air force and it's literally airforce.gov.au and i read the thing and it says you can uh use this information as long as you give credit so we have to put the link in the description nice. um but it's all about dews and the technology of dews man the that's direct scary. energy weapons and um, so well, I'll, I'll just read some of the stuff that they said. It's, Austra- said, it's Australian. Oh, all right. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Come when, on. <laughs> when the DEW generates a light and energy amplified by stimulated emissions of radiation, i.e. laser, to, the qu- uh, to start a quantum fire. Mm. Right? Yeah. Weird. And then going down the thing. I'm not going to do Australia anymore. I, <laughs> I, I, appreciate, I, I appreciated that, though. Yeah, yeah. There are different types of system designs for a DEW to output different forms of varying levels of energy. These design variations are each more efficient in different applications, ranging from low-energy systems that cause physical discomfort to controlling crowds to temporarily dis, uh, disrupting the functioning of electro-optical sensors. Through to high energy systems for causing material damage. Some of these designs have already been introduced into service by different military forces around the world. The word was efficient, by the way. What? 
when I said the word you're looking for for the type of energy oh. was efficient. <laughs> Call back. Actually. But yeah, they're saying that these DEWs, like the amount of power that they can output, you can either target a crowd and make them cause or cause them to be dis like have discomfort. Like tasing them. I guess. Or maybe just like. It's literally. I mean, do we not. When we think about um, uh, aliens and their UFOs and the, the tractor beam things like that holds things still. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Like, is that not literally it? But like, like wouldn't that be. Frequency is such like a weird thing. Control of groups. Well, it's kind of like the. um. Um, what's the Obama movie? Uh, yeah, where world leave the world behind, leave the world behind. Yeah. Like that, that whole thing with the freak, like the frequency. Thing. Yeah, yeah, and like and that's the, a real thing. The, the, the Cuba, yeah, yeah, right. That happened in Cuba where they the, play, they the play that the Havana syndrome. That's yeah, what it was called. They play a a, a tone that's that so that just at a different frequency or whatever, where it literally causes migraines, teeth to fall out. It's crazy, like the dog, like the. Dog it's yeah. like a dog whistle thing. Like yeah. we can't Literally hear it, but it affects us biologically. Like I would, that's so scary. Dude, I don't dude. know, dude, but like this whole thing is like, yeah, it's freaky. Yeah. Dude, oh, weapons are getting percent. scary now. Like it used to be so simple back in the day. Like you'd have to like take 30 seconds between shots because yeah. you have to load your muzzle. And now it's like, we have to, this is like alien technology. It feels like <laughs> dude. And like, I don't know. Cause I barely did any research cause I just came across it. But the connection with like the smart cities and stuff, mm -hmm. like, because supposedly this uh, dude, region, the wildfires I, of I, Canada, Trudeau trying to get the smart cities and everyone located that we talked about that. I didn't even think about that, dude. And all we live that was the DEW, that was the um the whole thing that we thought. Why they everyone trying to was burn saying it up that? then? What to if push it, people towards what if um, it, cities instead of I got um, it. rural areas? I got why you have to do it. Because everything's built on a grid, and if you need to rebuild the grid, you need everybody to sign oh. off on reconstruction. Oh, okay, that makes sense, right? Yeah, because you can't. Hey, we gotta like go under your house to like run a line. You're gonna be like, no, I live here. You yeah. can't do that. Don't have a house anymore. That's why. But also, the whole thing about the smart cities is tracking people and letting people not leave the city. It was. Like being able to control everyone, like, yeah, yeah. So you would have to have everyone inside that city limits. Yeah, dude, dude we're we're two for two for this is conspiracies. <laughs> this is one of those things where you just like you just don't know if you're like you're like you know you see your car and then you you like and then you, now you see it everywhere. Yeah. It's like are we just seeing connections for like no reason? But like it's it all seems catching weird. Up. It's, it's all catching weird. up. Dude, my mom literally called me last week and she was like, "You should." You know, this is how people disappear. She's like, you should be careful. They're not going to get us. What are, what are we? What You're are we? Go, hey, look, 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 look at me. No, if some, we've, we've all agreed that if someone <laughs> yeah. from big up came and threatened us. <laughs> Don't give them ideas. <laughs> we'd be like, okay, hey, man, yeah, oh, 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 that's it. We'll wrap it up. Yeah, we'll just do <laughs> fart jokes from now on. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> hey there. I don't chicken. know anything. <laughs> oh, go, go. So, um, if, so if next Friday there's a Carl video instead of a podcast, you'll know yeah. what happened. Yeah. So if this podcast ever ends abruptly, yeah, you know why. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care about us. We so. just but. signed our fate. They're like, well, we were going to tell them to stop, but yeah, now we, we got to. maybe maybe they'll just slap the Alex Jones label on us. Like they're crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're crazy. These guys are whatever. You guys are wackos. Yeah, that was fun. The yeah. way you did scream scream chemtrails. Last week was very, very Alex Jonesy. Oh no! I just turned. Cam trails. Cam trails. Oh, you see those clouds in the sky? AKA Cam trails. They're coming to get you. Do I need to go back to my desk? Huh? Do I need to go back to my desk? No, you're good. Um, I'm but, not with them. I but, promise. I'm just a guest. <laughs> I didn't no, know. No, he's were doing completely this. involved. Corey actually gave me all this information. Yeah, he, he, was, he does our DWs. research. He's the computer this guy. This podcast yeah. was his idea. Yeah. And he's like, expose as much as you can. He walks in. He's like, ninjas are butterflies. We're like, all right. Write it down. <laughs> this was that. five years ago, guys. Yeah. I was like, what? Um, speaking of five years ago, though, have you heard that we have an ad? We have an ad. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for you to say. Hey, Josh! Hey, 
Andy. Hey, I want to let you and everyone watching and listening know, listen, if you go to SundayCoolSwag.com, guess what? You can get all your Ninjas or Butterflies merch that you want, including these socks. Look at these cool wow, socks. Wow, those socks look so have, comfy and cool. They're amazing. They're super soft, just like our t-shirts. And we got hats and everything you could possibly want for Ninjas or Butterflies or Cool Carl or Sunday Cool Swag. So go to SundayCoolSwag.com. Right, Josh? Whoa. Andrew, where's your shirt? Got hot. I dig it. Andy? <laughs> wow. Corey, what do you think? You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Wow. Wow. That was really wise. Thank you for that. Anyways, back to the show. All right, Corey, tell us, uh, tell everyone how your season went, your deer season. People are interested. Uh, man. Are they? Yeah, of course they are. Oh. Um, yeah. I'm interested, dude. Not as great as I would have hoped, honestly. What'd you get and where? Zero deer in Georgia, which is where I hunted, I mean, every weekend. Mm -hmm. You every drove, you every weekend from September 16th to November 10th, besides Dang. Five, four or five weekends. What's like, of Christmas? That's yeah, like 10 hours years, round trip, right? And then two in Pennsylvania. What do you figure? You How long have you been at that lease? Uh, this is my second year. Okay. So in the last two years, like dollar per deer, how much have you spent? Hmm. <laughs> uh,. You don't have to share if you don't want to. No, I, I don't care. Um, I spent a lot of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. this year alone, and I think I calculated it. Um, I have kind of like my rough estimate yeah, on yeah, what yeah. I spent divided by how many I personally yeah. shot. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, then you want to divide it like you want per pound. <laughs> No, nah, just per animal, per harvest. Probably about $4,000 a deer. See, I was hoping to be encouraged because I wanted to, like, convince my wife to let me get on a lease. You know, like, just take grocery money and put it toward it. But Now, if very doable. Like, uh, how'd it go? I was not, I was not uh, in charge of my lease. Mm. So, like, we have restrictions. So... He's, you can only shoot something like this old, mature. Yep, yep. And then it's like, that's the only thing you go after all year, so you don't get anything until you break down at the end. And then, yeah. but what el what else am I going to do on the weekends? Yeah, what else? I mean, your kids, your wife. Yeah, you left your kids and your wife every weekend for like They're hungry, four months, dude. dude. Yeah. You know, I think I'm a true believer of self-sustainability mm. so it's i'm there for them for eight months seven months but then the the other four or five months i i need to see what they're made of yeah okay i got you i got you know? gretchy, that's, that's actually good parenting gretchy, gretchen toby, toby and um you got it you know it's your Col kid. colton yep. colton, yep. colton. Is that a question mark at the end of that no no i'm telling you you guys okay. are all okay. you guys are throwing me off you seem like you're about to add another one is there well, something yeah, Gretchen, you have to Gretchen, share? Gretchen is his wife. Oh, I yeah, said Gretchen. Gretchen, I said Toby, my oldest, Toby. oldest yeah. is Toby. Colton, Colton four. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, my two-year-old, April seventeenth. What's her name? Jessica. I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> I just know it's not. I'm sorry. I, I, can't remember, remember, I, can't, I can't remember. I apologize. Remember the names. No, of it just my seemed kids, like you were please. unsure. So, I, and I trust you, Jessica, Toby. You guys are and, all uh, looking at me like I, like I got the. Lie detector thing on me, like come on. No, yeah, we're sorry. It's my life. My bad. Uh, that yeah. that ad was fun, right? Yeah, I had a good time. I'm really glad Corey uh Corey, Corey ended with that wisdom. That little yeah, little punch of wisdom at the end was really nice. Yeah, I'm forever changed, bro. Thank it, you. it was weird that you were shirtless the whole time, but <laughs> yeah, it was well, weird. You know, I just I had to follow your lead. So right, right. I mean, I don't. I only had to follow my lead. You had to follow my lead because, because I had to follow Andrew's, Andrew's lead. lead yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we were all shirtless. Yeah, it was super weird. Um, Apologies. Yeah, but you know what time it is. 
Question Corner, Question Corner, Question Corner with Corey, where the questions are fresh on his mind. Boom, boom. Do you have a question? Yeah. Oh, dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I was winging it. I didn't prep you. (laughs) No, yeah, yeah. It's about animals. All right. Okay. Perfect. It's it's a it's a solid debate. So, from an unnamed source, someone in this office. So if they're wrong, it's their fault. But we got on this topic of bald eagles. Right. Right. You think, do you think bald eagles are endangered? Mm -mm. They're not anymore. Right. That also means they're not federally protected anymore. Oh. What, what are we feeling? Do you think Wait, even what? though they aren't, they are not, they're not endangered because they're not endangered. So they're just all those laws protecting bald eagles and everything that had never anything to do with it being our country's bird, like our, like our trademark, or whatever <laughs> trademark. that is. I don't know what, I don't know what the word is. USA Eagle <laughs> trade. Very, <laughs> very low knowledge of this, but yeah, we got into conversation. Okay. Yeah. So sure. Do you, Let's say I'm right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I, Sorry, I didn't mean that. Yeah. Let's say I'm right. Yeah. Do you think, even though bald eagles are not endangered anymore, do you th- still think they should be federally protected as they were before when they were endangered? Yes. I think so. Because I feel like... If- I feel like there's certain animals that you should protect. Yeah, I mean, and, I think... The eagle seems like one of them. And it... If you're going to have one animal represent your country, I think it would be like to make an exception for at least one. You have endangered species and then one, right? So, yeah, 100%. You have to. I think they I always thought they were, though. I thought we thought they were, but I think they can look out for themselves. Yeah? Mm. Mm -hmm. Would you eat one? If I was hungry enough. I would try it. How hungry would you have to be? Like, I'm saying, like, are you like survivalist or are you just saying, like, how long do they want to drive to Taco Bell? How long do they wait in the snow? In wait the, in, in the, the snow in the snow plane how long did they wait before they started eating oh i don't oh, know oh uh 6 days yeah probably about that long jeez oh and you're talking about that movie the, got yeah. it I think it was an eagles. attempt was it was like, an like, attempt what, these eagles are stuck in the snow or something it was an attempt at a callback and oh. i couldn't remember yeah. any yeah. of the details yeah I, I remember it was like if you shot an eagle it's, it's like Done. 10 years in prison or yeah. something it's crazy i heard Absolutely that if wild. if you even have like an eagle feather like yeah. that's yep. like up to like three years in prison or something. I have a buddy that lives on uh Lakeshore that he, he has two nests right above him. And like, no joke, he would like have to be careful about moving this stuff in his yard. So he had to call the wildlife people and ask him like, Hey, like, is this, Dang. is this cool? And they would have to come sometimes. And that's pick things silly. Up. Cause yep. they had an egg that fell one time and they're like, I am not touching this. Dude, I would <laughs> yeah. eat an eagle egg. <laughs> an eagle <laughs> omelet, dude. Yeah. Dude, over, how over patriotic, dude, how patriotic, man. A poached eagle egg. <laughs> <laughs> full on the protein, full on the freedom, babe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I like that. Yeah. yeah. I, kind of on the related note, but separate. There's an animated movie that has an eagle in it. Uh, and it's about a guy. There's a little kid, but there's definitely an eagle in it. And it reminds me because the guy trapped the eagle. I don't know if you guys knew about oh. that. Are you talking about the rescues, rescuers down under? No, the That's seagull. An no, there was a, there's an there's an eagle or or a hawk at the beginning that like has this oh. big big. Thing. Oh no, that's Stuart Little. No, no, Stuart Little's the Stuart Little's the one with the guy with the green hat, and he's like he has a shadow, and they go to like Neverland. Oh no 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 that what you just said that is um oh what's it called? It's um Pinocchio. No, it might it it might be rescuers down under. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. cause the yeah, it's an eagle. Shut your mouth. No, but they I was on, right. They write on a seagull though. At no, one yeah. point in the movie, no, at, Josh, like, he's like one of the main characters. No, he's not. Yes, he literally is. Barely. No, not barely. He is. Barely. He's on the front cover. Is there a seagull in the front cover of that? It's yeah. Okay, first of all, yes, it's a seagull, but you can't just say it's just because I said it was an eagle. I said rescues down under. He's not the only bird in the movies, Josh. No, it's a, it's a, it's a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Stuart Little. No, the one down there. Oh yeah, that's a bird. <laughs> oh, this is what we're talking about, right? Yep. Yeah, it's a that's a mouse. Oh, that's a weird looking one. That's a I'm they t- have I'm two. the one they from have the 90s. Yeah, yeah, they, they have two. They have, yeah, oh. 19, this yeah. was the 1990. Yeah. Are oh. you're are you thinking of that? You thinking of that? 
No. I don't know what we're talking about, but that th- this is what I was talking about. That's I should have known that because my kids love this movie. Yeah. But <laughs> thanks for reminding me. <laughs> oh. Who loves it the most? Jessica. Jessica. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Classic Jess. Yes. A little sweet two year old girl. Bond? April 17th. Bond? Redhead. Redhead. I Redhead. Wow. Oh. Can't believe I forgot yep. that. Mom, mom's, a, mom's a blonde, mixed it up, you know, the gene pool yeah. thing. Yeah. You know. That's um, cool. Hey, gr- go in that cup real quick and pull out a piece of paper. Oh, my question wasn't good enough. Unbelievable. No, that was great. A great oh, question. Okay. And Andrew has to show us something. How many times do you have to fold this? Oh. <laughs> Less than seven. You That's true. Cold play. We done that already. I'm saying Andrew, Andrew has a real Andrew, Andrew has a real Andrew, Andrew has a real. Oh, I can't. I was like, I can't. I can't remember this melody at all. Andrew has a real. Andrew has a real. I already said. And he's gonna show us. Look where, where at you send this it? real Instagram that Andrew sent for us. Did Corey get it? No, because he sent it. I sent it to oh, him and the Yeah, clan. I got it. Figured I'd All include right, Lily. Three, two. Oh, wait, wait. One. Okay. New fear unlocked. Dude, okay. Dude. They don't stop? Dude. Dipped in. What are you doing? And then the flipping sail catches. Bro. They're just dragging them Bro. underwater, dude. You know, someone died of doing this. That exact I don't doubt same it. thing happened, dude. That's so scary. How mad would you be if that was like those are your kids, dude? Do you like know you're like you just like paid for like a like excursion or something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. There's those are some of the like if if you're a reputable you know parasail company owner, I exclude you from this. But there's so many sketchy ones, like when you know Florida storms will show up in 15 minutes. Back yeah. home in like Panama City, there was an actual incident where you could see storms out over the Gulf, but these guys were like, We got time to make a quick buck and do a, you know, quick little tour. And literally, someone got stuck and they were bringing out other like boats trying to like try to winch this person in. And they literally, you can just see the boats struggling to pull it in, all of them like panicking, this dude just floating, and then the line snaps. I saw that. Yep. That was back in your place? Panama City. So dude. it's like an hour Did away. Did you see that? No. This dude That's was just scary. floating away. That, what do you do He, he went over the do? condos. Yeah. Because you can't control like, uh, nope. like no. when you're skydiving or whatever. And that dude, even if you could, probably has no idea how yeah. to like do dude. that. So you're just like, we'll see where there's we land. Certain, there's certain things where it's like, when I went snowboarding, I was like, this is a risk I probably shouldn't be taking. Because, yeah. like, no joke, like, it's just, like, it's just not worth it at this point in your life. Like, sometimes it's just not worth it. That seems like one of them. Because I saw one of these excursion places where the guy was actually running, holding up the parachute with the guy that was riding, and he jumps on and hangs on with him. And he's, like, he just, so he's just, oh, like, yeah. awkwardly riding that. right next to him. You're, like, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> it was crazy. Nuts, man. Oh, but speaking of parasailing. Yeah. He, uh, did you see how the moon is rusting? What? I, I've heard about it. Yeah. So there's this kid that took like the most, um, what, what like super it? high quality, the, like the most high quality picture of the moon ever taken. And it was like over like 2000 images that he combined of like taking yeah, okay, pictures I get of the you. moon. And you can clearly see that the moose, the, the moose, <laughs> the moon is rusting. Okay. And then I went on to, or I saw this on NASA on their website and the article said, while the moon is airless, research indicates the presence of hematite, a form of rust that normally requires oxygen and water. This has scientists puzzled. Huh. Do you know what the word hematite? Helium. No. Hematite is a name that is derived from the Greek word meaning blood. Like hemoglobin. So we're going to go a little okay. call back yeah. to the Bible. All right. This is in Joel. I'm going to act like I know where you're going with this. I'm still like, this is Joel crazy. Joel 2, 31 through 32, verses 31 through 32. Okay. It says, <clears throat> the sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood 
before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. And it shall come to pass that everyone who calls in the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be those who escape, as the Lord has said, and among the survivors shall be those whom the Lord calls. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. So what is like, is that is that type of thing on our earth so we we know it on earth right that's the same like chemical or whatever that is the- yeah yeah so it's it's observed on earth okay but the the term hematite this uh it's a type of um whatever rusting that yeah. only occurs with this certain min- mineral dude water and oxygen but the moon is literally doing that right now and scientists do not know why yeah and think about when joel was written too yeah yeah that's weird man yeah for those of us who don't know our viewers, do you want to give a little bit of the Joel? When was Joel written? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It had to have been, I mean, like this is Old Testament. This is, yeah, BC. Mm. So I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was testing you. <laughs> yeah, I failed. Um, but no, I mean, it's throughout scripture of just like the moon turning to blood in like, what does that mean? Because they have like the blood moon, right? And yeah. People are like, yeah. oh, that's going to happen on this day. But the word, so like the Bible, um, it was ultimately translated into Greek at one point, right? And the Greek word for blood is hematite, and which is the same word that they use for this rust. Yeah. And so it's like, why the moon is literally has hematite on it, mm-hmm. which is the rust. Hematite means blood, and it's just like, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Here it comes, baby. <laughs> it's all going to end soon, so you better. End times is coming, my friends. Is that true? I mean, like, I don't know. That's a tough thing. That's like, that's. Okay. I mean, there's been, I, I've thought about this a lot of just like throughout history, like really terrible things have happened. Like, mm-hmm. could you imagine like World War II, like all the devastating things that were happening are like, dude, the end is near. Yeah. The end is near. Yeah. Um. It just feels it's a little. So, di- it feels a little different this time. It, it definitely does because I mean, we like. Do you think just about the the advances in the technology to now and like just the amount of just trouble that's in this world, like absolute just like mayhem. Yeah, and it's just getting worse. And it's it's, I don't know. Yeah, so it's that, it's hard to see like how could it get crazier because like there's things that we're dealing with now that in 20 years from now, like we would try and travel back and said, hey, this is what we're going to be dealing with in 2024. They'd be like. You're insane. That's not even possible. This sounds really morbid. Okay. But (laughs) my entire life, I've always just known that I'm never going to be an old man. That is super. Not that I'm going to. Don't say that. No, but like that something's like, like Jesus is going to come back before like I become an old man. Okay. That, yeah, that that's fine. That's fine. If that's your belief, but you're like, that's I'm just going to, no, that's I'm going to die before I become an old man. Dude. Cause I'm telling you that, that time period in high school where I was having these like crazy dreams, dude, I had one where Jesus came back and like there's trumpets and like the sky just went poof, like yeah. light. Yeah. I'm like, he's coming back. And so like when I woke up, I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to be an old man. Yeah. That is scary. That's I mean, this is such a <laughs> this is such a more like a, yeah. This is I told you it's gonna little, it's gonna be a little, gonna be a little more, but it'll be like, heavy. It's like we, like we are we are all gonna be at that point in our life where we face that, and so it's like it's just it's a hard thing to I don't know just pass over like or don't talk about or just like not even no, notice the significance of it. But yeah. it's I, I mean, by I by no means am calling you a prophet in this, but in that same. Uh, don't call me that i'm not that's what i'm saying i'm like let's just be clear this is just just fun but you go uh a few verses up and it and that's where you get the uh, your old men shall dream dreams and your young men so shall see visions and then the uh the outline of that usage in the original language is like an oracle or a prophecy ninjas or butterflies baby <laughs> bada boom, bada uh, bang. you all right I mean, every time I come on this podcast, <laughs> dude, you just got me thinking. <laughs> my what are you pa- thinking? My, what are you my, thinking? My palms are sweating. Yeah, what are you thinking? Knees weak. Oh, I was about dude. to say I'm proud of you for not. I mean, I can't. I, I can't. you say all these things, and it's like... Lily hates it, by the way. Like, She's like could stop. you just yeah. talk about puppies or they, something? It they, makes so much sense. 
Yeah. Like when you relate it back, it just makes so much sense. Like you really portray a good story and it's like, maybe be bad at telling the stories, man. I'm going to think about this all I drive home. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, a little bit of a connection to this and like, I'm not, I'm not going to read the thing because it's super long, but there is that movie that came out, I think a year ago called Padre Pio. Mm-hmm. So St. Padre Pio. Of Shia LaBeouf. Picture. Yeah. And starring Shia LaBeouf. I watched the thing and I'm just like, that's not great. Like they didn't really focus on Padre Pio as a whole because Padre Pio was like a really awesome dude. There's some stuff that makes me kind of like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. You know, um, one thing they said why he's a saint is because of all these miracles that he was able to perform. One of them was bio biolocational. So he could be in two places at once. And you think of like, um, who was it that baptized the, the eunuch? The, or not the eunuch. Uh, yeah, it was the it's, eunuch, yeah, the Ethiopian. Yeah. yeah. Um, golly. <laughs> I literally just, yeah, we just talked Anyways, about it. But like, like of how he Philip? was like caught up. Maybe. Um, but Padre Pio, he had this prophecy. I use that term very loosely because yeah. claim prophecy claim prophecy yeah. because he was, and this is where I got a little bit of a hiccup because he was literally speaking on behalf of Jesus. Like yeah. thus says me, the Lord Jesus. And so I'm just like, I don't know, yeah. but I don't know, you know? Um, and so just, yeah, when you, when you read this stuff, be praying for discernment with this kind of stuff. Yeah. But he talks about <laughs> these three days of darkness mm-hmm. that is going to come right before the Lord comes. And it, it it was one of the most terrifying things I've ever read. And, like, it shook me. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> if, if this is not real, it's really specific. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But I called Brennan, my cousin Brennan, who is a brother in the Catholic Church. And I asked, I was just asking him about Padre Pio. And he's like, I don't know too much about him, you know. He said, but I did meet one of his or hung out with one of his uh, disciples at the time. And Brennan's like, this was this dude was like one of the most holy men I've ever met. Like he was just pure, love Jesus, all this stuff. And so you kind of have to balance it a little bit, you know. Yeah. But um, one thing that he said that, um, so he talks about these three days of darkness and the Lord um, being basically fed up with, the, the sins of man like it's it's like kind of hit the breaking point and he urges everyone all the believers to barricade themselves inside close their windows uh shut their doors and don't exit the house for three days because then he like says fire will rain down there'll be poisonous gases all this stuff i'm like that kind of sounds like a nuclear fallout yeah. a little bit you know <laughs> don't know um but he said this was he said, the war of 1950 shall be the introduction to these things. I'm like, the war of 1950, what is that? That was the, the start of the Korean War. So it was a separation of North Korea and South Korea. And if you know anything about North Korea. Yeah. They got the bombs, you know. I don't know where I was going with this. Very dark stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah. I just Let's figure to, it out. I, just, I was just like with the, the, the moon rust thing and like just – Happen yeah. to stumble across yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah. Padre Pio thing. I'll give I'll give my like my response in like two perspectives. Like it, the Bible does say, you know, old men will you know dream dreams, young men will see visions. So we know that there is something along those lines that is going to happen. Um, but also, when you look at like the history of our faith and like I lean reformed, and there's like solo scriptura, like in scripture alone, in scripture is enough. So anytime we have like addition to like canon, which would be potentially further or different than what already exists in scripture. And like you said, I'm not saying you weren't saying it, but it's like, I just want to like sit there and marinate and like process. Yeah. Does that change for us? Yeah. Does it change anything? Yeah. I don't know. It's like, we're not supposed to have a spirit of fear. No. So if it's inciting fear. No, but there's a, a readiness, you know, like uh, right. being prepared and not falling asleep. What does that look like? What does being prepared for that look like? Watching ninjas or butterflies. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm totally joking. That no, not- I think I think it's not almost a readiness is almost if you if you're a believer, then that means do what you can to fulfill 
what your you believe your calling is and so like and yeah, that's, that's good and if that's the great commission then then that's your readiness to do that every day yep you know and the it's, it's the um um what's his face to, um live like you were dying tim mcgraw tim mcgraw that's what you should be doing if we're if if we're if we're thinking that the end is near yeah kind of live your life like the end is near you know like yeah you got to have that mentality. But if, if it doesn't happen, part of the then your life was like, as believers, you're pursuing Christ and you're spreading the gospel and you're loving your enemies and you're loving everyone, you know? Yeah. yeah. Everyone. I don't know. Heavy stuff, dude. <laughs> Heavy stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, look, look, look right here. Hey, look at what I can do. Look. Oh, look at that. What is that? Look. Is that look, a little penguin It's a little something? penguin. Aw. And look. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Look, it's, look, a little, look, it's a little kitten. Little kitty. Little kitty. Oh, that is super cute. <laughs> that fit, that makes me feel better. So the Tucker Putin interview. That, <laughs> that was good prep work. Let's right dive there. into it. Um Dude, wild. Dude, that's a this is a wild thing that's happening. And I don't like okay. let's say it up front. Anyone who talks okay, free speech should be a, celebrated in America, especially if it's something that helps inform other people. I don't know Tucker Carlson. I've never watched any of his stuff, but it's like it's like you get a chance to speak to a world leader who's very dangerous and you hopefully get to see a mindset. It's like on Mindhunter how they said like, hey, we want to go interview these serial killers or something, you know, like to, so we can learn about them. It's like not good, whatever. I'm not comparing yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying like it's it's, it's helpful just, it's information. Journalism, it's journalism and it's dangerous. He's, and that's he's involved in exciting. something that the U.S. is involved in as well, which is funding weaponry and stuff for Ukraine. Yeah. Russia is fighting Ukraine. So it's like, let's hear what this guy has to say. Because, yeah. in fact, it was uh, like Barbara Streisand, I think. Uh, she interviewed um, Fidel Castro during the Cold War really? like, era. Like, right. So it's just like, that's a, it's a common thing for journalists to interview and hear the side, even if it's wrong yeah. or if it's full of propaganda. It's just like that Channel 5 News guy. It's like yeah. that guy went into a, a little crack house and literally where could have been killed at any time. And it's like. The respect is given there, and you learn a lot from it's, it. It's only fair because they, 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 the, the saying is there's two sides to the story, right? Yep. And I listened to a good amount of the interview, and it's like it was really confusing. And like Vladimir Putin was just kind of like rambling on a lot, and there seemed to be like a lot of propaganda pieces within it. Yeah. But he did say some stuff that I didn't know about the U.S., like the fact that he has had no contact with our president since 2022 yeah. so four or two years so he says so he says and that's the thing it's yeah. like so like it is the but it's thing, nice to hear both sides though yeah like that's the dangerous thing is when we only get that echo chamber and we only listen to yeah. you know you don't want to ever be that it's like there's nothing against our country or anything it's like but like we'd we want to know like i would love to know the people's perception of america well if i could have that constant you well, know if i need that and and too like you have to look at the interview is it's the opportunity to capture information and portray information it's i'd liken it to taking a picture if something was happening in front of you and you were like this would be good information to share snap the picture and so essentially yeah. doing an interview is like i'm just going to take a picture do with that information yeah. what you will tucker I really appreciated some of his questions he asked. They were like, I would have been terrified to ask them. Mm -hmm. Literally sitting in the Kremlin in Russia, dude. Yeah. He there's one part where he asked, urged Putin to uh, free a American journalist that has been in prison in Russia for like four years or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. And then Putin's like, "Well, he's done this, this," and he's like, "He's a third, thirty-two year old kid. He's not a spy. He's a yeah. journalist." Yeah. And then Putin's like, basically, at the end, he's like. I'll think about it. And then Tucker said, I really hope you let him free. Yeah. I'm was like, a, that was the dude. last thing he said to him. He's like, I hope you let him go. I'm like, yo, dude, like, and so like, has anyone yeah, seen dude, him that's since? Crazy. Is he back? <laughs> no, he's done some um, post interviews, but people were just ragging on him. And it's like, listen, whether you're no matter political stuff aside, it's like journalism, it's history. Like he's Putin is a huge part of world history. Yeah. And it's like the fact that we can interview him and get his stuff on record and stuff like that. Like, what? This, what? This movie. There's just. What is this movie? I don't know. It, it's it's a the little, same playlist. Little Asian boys, what? but just. <laughs> 
He was like falling and he caught this his is, pants. This is the Jet Li movie. I okay. Think. I don't know. <laughs> this boy was falling and the guy caught his pants and <laughs> it's just showing his little butt. <laughs> and so I couldn't. It's a fighting dragon. I kept on going like. <laughs> like, like what am I saying so funny? <laughs> I was like, am I? In? I thought you were looking at me. I was no. like trying to figure out what like, you were listening to. It was, so it was the most distracting thing ever. <laughs> Speaking of moon. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I think it's so important to. That's what, dude, we just got to get back to like real journalism. Yeah. Instead of these like. It's exciting stuff that we're seeing more of it now, though. That's the cool yeah. thing. It's like, I, I mean, with Shane Gillis being on SNL now, there's definitely a, a shift in the culture. I think people I, were just set up with the monotony of yeah. being fed information that is all the same. Yeah. And also being angry all the time and confused. Like, it's just yeah. like, okay, now we just need to figure out, like, what are the facts? What, what's happening? And I can make up my own mind now. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> Corey hasn't <laughs> talked in 30 minutes. Um, well, one thing I do appreciate about it is Tucker, Tucker Carlson not necessarily being associated with a major news network. Yeah. So he's kind of like an independent freelance. So like yeah. no one's telling him what to do and what to say. Yeah. How's he making money? Is it probably sponsors and stuff well, like you that? You can, you can, um, yeah. Sponsors on his and podcast. Monet- monetization. And, yeah. yeah. Monetization. Monet- <laughs> but I appreciate that. Cause I feel like that's more authentic yeah. than like a CNN or Fox news person going over there. Yeah. Um, but it, you take it with a grain of salt, right? Like, you get good information, you know, you kind of try and parse it out, like, yourself. Yeah. But, like, I wonder if it was a... This is going to sound dumb, but... This whole mo- podcast is dumb, so... The, <laughs> the movie, The Interview with Seth Rogen yeah, and yeah, James yeah. Franco, like, they go over there and interview the guy, and when yeah. they get there, they're like, this is what you're asking him. Yeah. You know, so I don't know if it was... How much of like how do you know if they were just like yeah ask if i want you to ask if he'll let that guy free i would hope you know what i mean like that kind of situation i would hope that he was firm in like i'm gonna ask him tough questions and they they definitely had to have read the questions before right right and i think that's why he was like rambling on about like the history of russia and stuff for like an hour yeah it was just kind of like gonna try to sway the conversation a little bit but yeah i i mean because you don't know you know but i did appreciate i think that was yeah no one's ever done that yeah like I, that was the most i've heard him and of him and like how it actually is from his point of view so yeah and it's like anybody having contact with the i mean anybody world any world leader should like should be a good thing especially if they're in like a the limelight and they're respectable yeah. and you know, good person. Like that's the thing. It's like because, he like uh, Putin said he said Bush. He had a great relationship with Bush and stuff like that. And so it's like there's been contact. So it's yeah. like what's what's wrong with having contact? Yeah, I don't know. It feels weird. You might have to cut this out, but <laughs> you know, like everyone's like, oh, Putin's evil. That Putin's a terrible guy. Is he a terrible guy? Or is he just doing like he's trying? Or is he just trying to serve his country the best he knows how? Just like our leaders are trying to serve our country the best we know how. Like, would, is he like an evil, terrible person? Or I would say I don't want to call him evil or whatever, but his track record is not super. Right. One right. working for the KGB for the Soviet Union. I think he's trying to introduce. Don't know a lot about politics, all that stuff. I think he's just trying to recreate the Soviet Union. That's why part of oh. it is taking over. Ukraine. I don't know a lot about it. I was just kind of like, yeah, you know, someone who and that, doesn't. know That's about what we've it. talked about so many times. Is just like, are we fed propaganda to make our a uh, view on somebody or a country or whatever? Yeah, is it different because we're without even knowing fed propaganda to persuade us either other like right, either way right. you know I'm not saying it is but it's like it's just hard to know like how do we know but there like, are there's there are some hard facts with that's just like vladdy yeah. there's just like mm, that's not awesome yeah and that and that's the cool thing about journalism like it's like things like that like it helps us learn more about it like right. and understand like oh wow this guy is off his rocker or whatever you know yeah. what I mean? like it's you know Hey, go America. Hey, go America. Ball USA. America. USA. 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 He's not saying it. He's not saying Protect, it. Uh, trust him. Spies. Protect the bald eagles. I'm hey, the one who brought hey, up the okay. bald eagle. Oh, yeah, that's true. You're right. You're right. 
Um, I saw this other video of this scientist who has come up with a way to start reversing the effects of climate change. Okay. Of like cooling down the earth. And it's like, don't do this. <laughs> okay. He like figured out the math, everything that we have to do, right? It sounds like a kid would come up with this. Yeah. You send this multiple craft into space, right? And you basically make a giant shade sail in between the earth and the sun. And so, like, it literally is shading the earth to where it will cool down the planet. And But this thing, it has to be, like, something 100 million miles wide or something. Yeah. And it's like... And made of what? I don't know. How do we get it there? But also, think, like... <laughs> what are we doing? Hey, maybe we shouldn't do that. Yeah. Because, like... I don't know. You don't want to shade the entire earth for yeah. like, it just seems like it's going to, it's not even the sunlight. It's like the UV rays or something. It's like the atmosphere, like the invisible I layers guess. just not there. Yeah. yeah. Keep, keep talking. I, gotta, I don't know. Like, I don't want sunglasses on all, all the time. I can promise <laughs> I you that you a picture of this thing. Imagine that just like at, in the morning, you just see like these shades, like slowly turning, like somebody's like, but just they're in space and just like the lights peeking through. And like, can you turn off the blinds and just like you can crank it down? We live in Florida. It's going to be negative 37 degrees. <laughs> We're going to all die, <laughs> dude. Everyone's dead. Okay, wait. Look at that. It's literally. That's insane. You see this? <laughs> it just looks like one of those paper things you used to have in middle school. Like say, like yeah, yeah, say yeah, a yeah. number. <laughs> the origami. Yeah. Dude, that, I th what a ridiculous that, idea. But also, like, what about crops and stuff? With, like, the, you need sun to grow crops. Yeah, but it, it's probably like, only allowing in, like, it's allowing in the amount we need instead of the I amount. I guess, but yeah. I don't know, man. That's, that's, that's why they're making food in, in a lab. Hey, but A for effort. <laughs> Good idea, pal. We're going to put it right up here on the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> You want to put a shade sail in, oh, in that's, space. That's such a good idea. I know. It's the best idea I've ever had. I, I want to build a sunglasses for the <laughs> for the earth. Okay. We create a giant tube of sunscreen, <laughs> and we coat the entire earth with it. That'd be good. Great. That's good. That's a really good idea. What We take one of those bombs, and we just put sunscreen inside of it. <laughs> okay, pal. Very this, good. This podcast, I'm, I told you I was worried that I was going to add a mood to it i love it all right i'm i'm down for it Corey, do you have something that you want to share yeah yeah okay yeah all something right. something a little brighter hit us something a little positive brighter than the sun <gasps> dang black hole sun i'm, I'm gonna you come I'm going to decide. wash away, away the rain black hole sun won't you come won't you come? You go, I don't know that song, but I appreciated that kind of, <laughs> kind of got me ready. Um, okay, I'm gonna decide. <laughs> so, UK's first retirement home for bees opens. Bees, bees, like, like buzz, 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 honey bees. Unbelievable. <laughs> you but, wrote this? No, I'm reading. Okay, it. I was gonna say. <laughs> But but they had that part in it. Got it. But true, creating created by flying flowers, bees visiting the honeysuckle bee retirement home can look forward to getting some rest and rejuvenation with facilities like recreational areas that are surrounded with pollen filled flowers, a sugar water foundation, and even mini armchairs. Yes, really. Was that fountain or foundation? Foundation. I wonder what that is. With B numbers decreasing worldwide, we're sure this will be a great inspiration for others to create their own B havens. <laughs> a lot of puns going on. <laughs> but it, fi it fired me up, bro. Like, Dude. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Mini chairs. That's pretty cute. I hope they have, like, cameras that we can, like, tune in and, like, go on the internet and just, like, watch them. I did zero research into that. <laughs> I just... This is like a little bee spa. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Should what we, if you could like volunteer to do bee massages or something? Should we do that outside I mean, the compound? Just open up our own little. I think if sanctuary. anyone's gonna do it, Sunday cool should. Yeah, so. that would be cool to have like a little sanctuary. Yeah, bees we are one of it. the most important 
things on this earth. No, yeah, and without I, I, them we die. Yeah, I read somewhere a long time ago because I had a dream that all the bees died. Okay, <laughs> but if bees died, we would have like three to five years because like they the pollinate. Have you seen the bee movie? No, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Never. No, they show it. <laughs> That's scary. Yeah, everything dies. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, insects that are dying at a, like a rapid rate. Like on that Reddit thread that I showed you the other day, like oh, yeah. if, uh, things like things that um, everyone should know about, but it's a like it's a big deal, and it's one of the things is like insects are dying like at a huge rate right now. It's weird, huge rate right yeah, now. that's right, dude. I didn't mow my lawn for quite a while, and it was crazy how many <laughs> little flowers took over the yard. And then bees literally just had a ton of bees start coming to the house. And that's told, awesome, though. I told my wife, I was like. I'm that. not mowing the, the yeah I'm not mowing the lawn because I care about the bees. Yeah, you you want to save the environment. Dude. Yeah, protect the bees, please. There was like a huge, huge movement among a group of people that was like anti cut your lawn, like be yeah. natural, like bees man, live bees live matter, but like in real life. Yeah, yeah. Like, have you heard of that? They were, they were like, oh, yeah, I mean, it's just they like the were whole, anti manicure I mean, the yeah, nature. I mean, it's a thing. It is actually good for like keeping certain things alive. It's also good for rats living yeah. and being able to get up to the side of your house. Yeah. <laughs> so I compromised. I have a little row that I don't mow where I let some flowers grow. Nice. So they still got their spot. Thank you for and your I service. Yeah, I don't have rats getting into my. Home. I bring the bee nest inside my home, like wow. inside my like uh, my daughter's room. I we just have like two red hornets' nests, just because I care about the yeah. environment. I just covered my yard with concrete. <laughs> 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 I burnt all my trees down. Hey, speaking of hippies, have uh, have you guys heard what's going on in the Ocala National Forest with the rainbow people? Yep. What happened? No, what happened? They're uh, they're actually like starting to like loot campsites and stuff. Like some of the four wheel groups I'm in, people are like, "Hey, don't camp here." Like, got my stuff stolen Dude, last night. Getting, if I woke up crazy. and found a hippie hanging no, hanging over my tent, but like all the comments were like, "Punch a hippie!" I'd punch a hippie in a second. Get out of here, hippie! <laughs> There's a ton of comments saying like, literally saw them like cutting trees down, like closing roads and stuff, keeping people out. Like, we talked to someone hit us up when we talked about the rainbow people. Yeah. You know the rainbow people? No. Ooh, oh, you should go hunting in the rainbow forest. <laughs> um, we talked about, it was a long time ago. Yeah. But it's a group of hippies that live in the Ocala National Forest. Okay. And uh, there's stories of them killing people. Like one with like dudes that do motocross through the Ocala National Forest, like of hanging up wire and these guys hit it and like, you know, I could see that happening. Yeah. Unfortunately, I could see that happening. Maybe Again, not like the the razor wire, like yeah. cutting the dude's head off, but like certainly just like getting him. Like I could crazy. see that. But um, there was someone that reached out, reached out to us when we talked about that, and they have a ministry group to where they go in and minister to the rainbow people. That's crazy. Yeah. I, yeah, I met the guy. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's where it came from. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I was like, I, I didn't know. I do not he- want to volunteer for that group. <laughs> That would be he so said, scary. He said there's a lot of rumors that circulate. And you got to figure, if you have a it's big like community, yeah, yeah, you have yeah. Hip, hippies and homeless people, and amongst a group of people, there's got to be... And Ocala is known for the most hardcore rednecks ever. <laughs> right. So it's like if you have a very opposite opposing force of yeah. a flower child, yeah, they're going to they're gonna like, you know these hippies are killing us. <laughs> you know? Long-haired hippies. Get them out of here! <laughs> I'm sick. To, I'm sick even thinking about it. Oh, we'd probably be all right though. If they like took over a campsite. We'd just start walking around with them. It'd be a great pod, dude. Next week, look at you in tie dye right now. <gasps> look at you. Are you oh, a hippie? No. Oh no! Get them out of here. <laughs> um, next week I want to talk about this Bigfoot audio recording. Yeah, that apparently a lot of people know about. By just listened to it yesterday, I'm like. This is the scariest thing I've ever listened to. The one on, uh, what's it called? Haunted Cosmos. Yeah. yeah. The one Alan told us about? Yeah. I'll shout just out, it. Shout out Beavers. Yeah. Thanks, babes. Um, sorry, guys, if this was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. The darkest thing. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. We didn't uh, talk about Mr. Bean. Real quick, look at this. Oh, I actually don't like sloths. I think no. this is scary. What about that? That is cute. That Look at that little piggy. <laughs> that little piggy. <laughs> 
Oh, you like that? Oh. Oink, oink. So cute. <laughs> Isn't that fun, guys? You know, they become feral in like a matter of weeks and actually start growing. All right, Andrew, like, come on. Yeah, we know Stop. we killed one. Oh. Oh. Episode, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Mr. Bean is an alien. <laughs> what? Mr. Bean is an alien? No, he's not. Yep. What are you talking about? I saw his TikTok. You know, like how he like never knows how to interact with people. He's yeah. like mimicking people and like he's always like dressed the same. Okay, you're talking about you're talking about the character. The Mr. character Mr. Bean. The Got character it. Mr. Bean. So you're saying okay, cool. Yeah. At the beginning, um, well, there's one episode where he's sitting some next to another Mr. Bean, dressed the exact same way. Yeah. But if you go watch the intro of that show, there's a light beam and he falls down. And that's how it starts? That's how Mr. Bean comes to Earth. And he's trying to become and act like a human. I didn't know that. So it's obvious from the very get-go? I, I Apparently. Golly. Yeah. I've never heard that. My kids love Mr. Bean. Yeah, he's very funny. He's the best. Yeah. Have you, do you remember <laughs> watching his thing at the uh, the Olympics? Did you ever see his <laughs> they, when they did it in London? He did the like the opening song. He was there. Oh, he, yeah, yeah, the yeah. The Chariots yeah. of Fire one. It yeah. was so funny. That is good. It's a good YouTube. Hey, but we I got something else to talk about but our on our Patreon episode. <gasps> Patreon. Patreon. Is that where the everywhere has like really exclusive um content? Yeah. Wow. Basically an extra episode. Every week? Every week. What about other things? Other things too. You like what we have like reaction, early access? Early access. Uh discounts on merch. That's incredible. Yeah. Where in there's sometimes where we watch a movie and we film it and get reactions and it's really fun to interact with everyone there. But now I can't remember where you told me to go get it. Patreon.com really forward slash ninjas or butterflies. Oh. Yeah. Again, yeah. I'm sorry for I feel like everyone's just kind of no, like doing it's this a it's now. a weird it's a weird day. It's Friday. It was it's a long the end week. of the day. I'm just tired. Long yeah. week. Yeah. Lily's not here. Yeah. Corey is too much to look at. It distracts everybody. If Lily was here, she would have put an end to the conversation pretty abruptly. Yeah, it would have been like stop talking about this. <laughs> Enough, Josh. I'm scared. Joshua. <laughs> Um, Corey, give us your best what? Your what and like what? Like, like, how, like Lily, how Lily would. How does Lily do it? She goes like. Real high pitched. What? What? <laughs> that, that was, was good. good. That was actually real. Very good. good. Uh, guys, make sure to give us a review. On Five everything. stars Five everywhere, stars. baby. Subscribe to our YouTube. Now that we hit a million, we're going for 10 million, baby. Come on. Yeah. Bring it home. Uh, SundayCoolSwag.com to get all your ninjas or butterfly merch. Please do it. Please. Because I scratched my throat when Easy. I screamed. Easy. Dude, just get our merch. <laughs> Please. We love you guys. Love Thanks you. for watching. Bye. See you later. Thanks, Corey. Appreciate you. All right, thanks, guys. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's ah! most beautiful creations. Has an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja, not Oh. Oh, this half that, episode. That's Patreon. Oh, Patreon. Can't open this one. It's on Patreon. You have to go to patreon.com, check it out. That you see. But what we do have is a card that says the baby shower. No way! Yep. Here, read that. <laughs> Dear Sunday Cool, my husband is an aspiring girl dad. Andy and Josh are his role models. Nice. We listen to your podcast every week and would love if you could come attend our baby shower. Now, hear me out. We have sick raffles and free food. I'm in. If that doesn't sound enough, Massachusetts is the most haunted state in America. Please visit us. Visit us. P.S. We love Jesus. And P.P.P.S. It's our first baby. What was this? What's the date? The date is March 1st, 2024. Or RSVP by then. Imagine if we just showed up like in full diapers. Wait a second. Okay, everyone, take this and go buy everything in the registry. Everyone just go buy one thing, even if it's small. And please complete the list, please. Let's be that podcast. Come on. <laughs> That's sick. Let's get these guys, baby girl, their stuff. I'll buy something off of it, sure. Yeah, I don't know how Let's it works. It. I thought there would be a link, but I guess you, uh, no, just, you just go on go it. Go to Target.com and you type in Jake and, and uh, Shy's baby registry. All right, yeah. go do it. Patreon, go follow us there. Because we're about to, we're about oh, to oh, do oh, more oh, stuff. Oh, okay, oh, bye. Oh.